vice president said that she had seen the plans and that there was no credible way to allow for I the relocation. She said she saw, she map. looked at a map. map. She saw, saw maps map. of Gaza. And said that there was no credible way to relocate those who were sheltering there. Was it ever feasible? As I've said from the podium uh, myself, a million and a half people in a very confined space, that that is a tall order for any military to find a place for that many people to go where they can be safe and secure, where they can have access to medical care, food, water. Um, that's a tall order for any military. And I think the vice president is speaking plainly and candidly about the scope and the scale of that kind of a challenge. For weeks, though, the U.S. was saying the only way they would support a ground invasion in Rafa was if there was a credible plan to relocate those civilians. That's so correct. the position now is that's not possible. Was it ever possible? We have not seen such a credible plan. Um, and one of the things that we want to talk about with this Israeli des delegation next week is exactly that. I mean, we're getting focused on the ground offensive, but the other thing we want to talk to him about is the humanitarian situation there in Rafa. Should we expect the president to be a part of this meeting next week, or you would not expect that with the Israeli delegation? We'll have more details about participation uh, in coming days.